Hello, and welcome to another exciting tale from the Combat Commander Ladder. If this is your first time seeing one of these videos, we are certainly glad to have you here. The Combat Commander Ladder is a community of friendly enthusiasts of this wonderful squad-level World War II game by Chad and Kai Jensen. We've been going since 2017, and we have over 100 players on our battalion roster. If you like what you see, we've got room in the barracks for you. Just follow that link in the video description below and you will be directed to your local recruiting office. Each month it is my esteemed pleasure to face off against an opponent from the ladder and to get to know a little bit about them. This month I've been paired up against Daniel. And Daniel, if you've ever seen one of these videos before, then you'll probably know I like to turn the spotlight over to this new friend and invite them to tell us all a little bit about them, their gaming history, their wargaming history, or even combat e commander experience. So why don't you take it away, Daniel, and welcome. Hi, Patrick. Um, yep, Dan here. I'm relatively new to combat commander here. Played for the first time back in October of last year. Um, somebody on the ladder here introduced me to it. And I started in January. This will be, I think, my this will be the uh, third game here really enjoying it so far. I'm up here in um, Northeastern PA and my gaming experience. I've been a board gamer since since I was a kid. Hard to find folks to play with, but I really enjoy it. That is true. Well, I am certainly glad to have you here because you, uh, I mean, for somebody that's only been on the ladder a few months, I seldom get the pleasure to play one of our new ladder members. So I'm glad to have you on the ladder and I hope you're having a good time. And this is going to be a great game tonight because we are at that point in the year when it's time for us to do our Sea Lion Battle Pack, which uh, for those fans out there, you know what it is. But if you've not experienced the Sea Lion Battle Pack, this is the uh, alternate history, I guess, version of the Silo plan that Hitler had devised for invading the British Isles. It never came to pass, luckily for all of us. However, 10 years ago, they created a nice little series of scenarios for this particular plan and wrapped a narrative around it. And originally it was released just on BoardGameGeek and it was so popular that GMT snapped it up, they polished it up, and then they released it as an official battle pack. So I'm excited. I love this battle pack. It is great to see just all sorts of little bits and bobs of the English countryside introduced as the home territories for the British. Tonight we are going to be playing scenario number 93 called Foxtrot Uniform, or FU, if you know what that means. We have the Americans have come and gotten involved now in the story. So Dan will be playing the Allies as the Americans. I will be taking the Germans as the Axis side. And this takes us to November 24th, 1940. This is late in the battle pack. The Americans are assisting the British in trying to recapture a Royal Air Force base at Uppet Hayford in Beista, pretty much just a straight up battle. Uh, we don't have any very particular special rules tonight. What we do have represented here is the uh, airfield itself is all of this tarmac. So all of the areas that would have the gray road areas, those are considered tarmac. They are still a negative one. So it's like a very big road throughout this. There are two anti-aircraft defense guns placed on the map here at uh, these locations. They are in German territory and these are anti-aircraft batteries that were on the base that the Germans are utilizing as static defenses. But what's nice about them is they cannot be eliminated. They can be recaptured and utilized by any friendly unit that is in that space. So right now the Germans have it, but perhaps the Americans can use them against the Germans at some point. And as we mentioned, since this is an early war 1940 timeline, the Allied reinforcement event and Daniel will not get the benefit of a role on that where he would get all sorts of neat things. He will instead just simply get more American line squads. And uh, the other special rule on this one is each one of these little hills that the Germans are on are actually concrete covered bunkers. 
that are buried under a little bit of soil so we can't put any sort of fortifications onto those areas so they are just as they are they are small hills and that's it and that includes the american one that is over here uh, at objective number three and that's all there is to it i am in the defensive posture so i am receiving dan's incoming americans and we will uh, see how it goes dan do you have any thoughts on this or any questions before we get started i don't think so all right then uh we shall draw up our cards let me see uh did we have any uh we do not have any one of our own objectives that may change right now objective two four and five have associated victory points and the germans have 10 points to start so i guess we will draw the cards see what we get the allies will get the first turn as the attackers and i want to wish you the best of luck sir thank you sir okay we'll start us off with a fire order that's always a good way to start i think i saw i saw you checking your sight lines earlier so i expect you have some good ideas already yeah, so I'd like to use um, Corporal Jensen up here to form a fire group. So we'll target your light machine gun there. Okay, so attack strength here, we're looking at machine gun as the base. That's 11 by my count. Plus 6 for, uh, for 17. Okay. Building on tarmac, so that's a modified plus 2. And so I'm going to be a 9 plus... Uh, we're good. Let's try it. Go ahead and activate Sergeant White down here. Ah, sneaky Sergeant White! One, two, one, two, two, and that's it for me. Well, you know, we got this fine, fine machine gun up here, so I figure we might as well use it. So we're going to play a fire order. Lauerbach is going to activate the uh, weapon team to fire that anti-aircraft gun at Jensen, since he drew fire. So we'll target him. And I think it's going to be... Let's see. We are on a hill, so it's going to be uh, 7, 8... And nine with the downhill shot. Nine plus. Ooh, 20. All right, starting with the uh, line unit. There's. And what's the cover for the forest? Uh, two, I believe. Eight, nine for 17. You said yours was 20, right? Yes. They break. And Jensen. He will pass. Uh, do you want to keep that? I'll pass the initiative card back. Yeah. Nope. Corporal Jensen breaks. Okay. All right. Uh, so we'll do next order. I think I will have. We'll do a move order. We'll have this rifle unit back here activate. And they're going to go one to there, two, three, four to there, and they will pick up a bonus for the for touching a road and go five to there. Any reaction? No. Okay. And they are done. I will draw back up as well. And back to you. Activate Lieutenant Ray down here. Yeah, starting with the line squad at the top there. One. Okay, I'll stop you there. Uh, I will do a op fire. I'm going to activate Lauerbach and this unit here. And they will just shoot as a I think they can both see there. Let me double check. Uh, this one cannot because he clips the building, but the uh, machine gun can. So 
We'll do uh, nine again, shooting downhill at them. So nine plus six, fifteen. Six plus the building. Oh yeah, he's good. Yeah, we're good. Here we go ahead and play an action. Smoke grenades. I assume I can play that in the middle of a move activation. Is that correct? Yes, yes, you've got box movement, so you're good to go. Okay. Drop that there. Okay. So I move. More. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll shoot there. So now we're on the same level, so it's just an 8 plus. Our first event, 15. Let's see what the event is. Uh, kill a broken unit. Ah, oh no! Uh, Corporal Jensen, sadly, has paid the ultimate price. I can see that coming. I'll go ahead and remove him here. Okay, uh, and he was a one leader, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, okay. So, two points. Axis. And I think they've got that brush is one cover, so there are seven. Seven, four, four, eleven. And the line squad down there. Uh, I'll shoot there. It's a nine. This time we'll add this one, so uh, it'll be ten total. Ten plus. Oh no! It's jammed. I don't know that I want it to be jammed, so I'm going to give you the card back. We're going to roll that again, so ten plus. There we go. Twenty-one. Break as well. And I think we'll leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> Lieutenant Ray is no fool. He's a West Point grad. He's like, oh no, they're shooting at us. I'll stay here. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and draw up. Back to you. I think we'll do a fire order. And I'll have Larbach and these guys activate again. And I'm going to shoot individually, I think. Um... Start here, Lauerbach will shoot at the guys on the hill. So it'll be seven, eight, nothing to add, so eight plus. Medi, there you go. You needed that. Yes, you, <laughs> yes, you did. Corman! Wait, now I assume I can add that to the unit being fired at. Yes, him. you certainly can. Yeah, he passed his check. Uh, I see. So yeah, he would rally, and then he'll break again because he missed it by one, so no effect. Yeah, he's not going to die. So Fair that's timing, I guess. Per perfect timing, yeah. <laughs> Alright, yep. And uh, we'll just put him right back while broken. His morale is better that way, anyhow. Yeah. Alright, and then uh, my rifle squad here will shoot at these guys just straight across the tarmac. Uh, so we're a 5+. plus. Sevens, twelve. Targeting the line unit on top there that's broken. Yeah, yeah, the one on the tarmac. So I think you're a seven with that negative one. Okay, it passes. Alright, that is next order. And I am done and drawing back up. That's to you. Start with a move one. Okay. And we'll activate Sergeant White's group down here. Starting with the line squad, that's one. Three, I should say. As soon as they hit the building, I'm going to shoot at you. Activate these guys. Five, six. I will do crossfire to make it eight. Uh, eight plus. Six is fourteen. Play concealment action. Shooting against a twelve now. You're good. Sergeant White down there. Squad one. Yeah, that's it for that move. Okay. So how long have you been playing Combat Commander? 2006. The guy that introduced it to me. We played a little bit, and there was a, a few older gentlemen in our 
board game group that really, they're like, oh, this is great. So they really took it. And then <laughs> they started playing on their own. And I was like, hey, but I want to play too. And so I didn't really get a regular chance to play until we did, you know, some of these little one-off tournaments. And then we started the ladder in 2017. And at least I get to play monthly now, which is good. Um, some people on the server, as you can see, play quite a bit every day, which is awesome. I think I'll go ahead and just draw up. Back to you. Okay. I believe I'm going to discard a card and draw back up myself. And it's to you. We'll take a fire action. Target your uh, light machine gun there on objective two. So we got 12. All right. Uh, and we are a 789. Nine plus. Oh, look at that. Suppressed. Play advance order. And uh, can I have a broken squad advance? Of course, yeah. Pull these guys back to safety up here. Back to there, at least temporarily anyway. And that's all I got. Back to you. Fire order. I think the only thing I got is... Lauerbach and the team here. They're going to shoot at those guys running back into the woods. Um, so we've got seven, eight, nine for downhill. I will play sustained fire to make it 11. 11 plus. 21. Start with the line squad there. They're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are done. All right. So, 2VP. Oops. Almost got away. Just barely got hit. Yeah, 19. Short one, right? Yeah, I got 21. Okay. Uh, that is next order. And... We'll draw back up. Back to you. I'm going to discard. Back to you. I will try to route you. We'll start up here with the line squad. They are in the woods there with nine. They suppress. Uh, then the line squad here is a ten. They're okay, and Ray is a 12. He's not going anywhere. Next order. I think that is all. I will call that a... Done. Back to you. Play move order. Sergeant White's group down here again. One. Go ahead. Sergeant White. <laughs> Make room for the sergeant! And we'll play a fire order. The uh, the squad in the building there didn't actually move. So I okay. believe I gotcha. Correct. Yep. We'll go ahead and target the suppressed squad there again. Ten for uh, sixteen. You get plus one for white, so seventeen. Uh, seventeen. Uh -huh. All right, and I'm a an eight in that building, so eight plus. 16, they're going to break. And we have a sniper, our first sniper. Sniper does not help. Play a route order. Okay. That's right. Nope. <coughs> they should be good. And, uh, that's all I got. Back to you. I believe I'm going to advance away from there. We don't like people shooting at us, so we're going to go to there. Next order. Play a move order. I'll have this unit back here go zero, basically. One, two. Mm. Go to there. Three. Anything? This guy has a shot if you want. No, we'll pass on that. Okay. Uh, 
So next order, drawing back up. Back to you. Play move one. Sergeant White's group again. Play another smoke grenade action. It's early war. These uh, smoke grenades are not very well produced at the time, apparently. Okay. Out here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop you there. I'll play a hidden wire. There we go. Okay. One. Two for the building, right? Yes. And at that point, I will. I'll activate to fire. And let's see. I'll do it from Lauerbach. Okay. Yes, we'll have uh, nine downhill to there. Nine plus. Uh, would you like to keep that? Yeah, we'll let that go. Okay, cool. So it will be a 21. Um, I will do the time advance. And let's see, reshuffle my deck. Uh, remove a smoke. Get rid of this one. And I am shooting through that smoke when I first shot, so I guess my, my official firepower is a 20 on that shot. Um, we take a point for Axis as defender, and we may play Diggins. Would you like to play any Diggins? I would not. Okay, I will play a Diggin, and put the foxholes with these guys. Okay, no further Diggins, nothing else. Then, uh, so yeah, it is to you with a twenty shot. Seven, eight, five, thirteen. Sergeant White. Addiction. Go ahead and suppress your rifle squad. Of course, yep. All right, so we will suppress them. That'll be the end of my move action. I guess we'll go ahead and take a shot at that same squad down there with the suppression marker. Okay, so we got six firepower to start. Yep, and it's going to be reduced by one for that fence. It's a good shot. Alright, so I will play Hidden Entrenchment and we'll dig some holes in that asphalt. We'll put fox holes there. Okay, so we are Versus 13. We're good. Yeah, that's all I got. All right. Um, I have no cards left, so I'm going to draw all the way back up and send it to you. I'm going to discard. Draw back up. I think I will play a fire order. And just activate Lauerbach. He's going to shoot here. Let's see, I will play a sustained fire as well. So I seem to remember it was 9, 7, 8, 9 for downhill, plus 2 is 11. And I will get the spray fire ability per the special rules, which we haven't even talked about and I don't think I've used previously. So it'll be 11 to both of these, plus 4. It's 15. Starting with the broken line unit, and it looks like he's going to be okay with uh, 18, 20. The other line unit there, 12. Don't believe he has any cover there, does he? Uh, he's got a negative one because of that tarmac, so he's a five plus your six. So yeah, he'll break. And that is it. Nothing else to add to that. So next order. Um, let's see. I think that will do. So 
I'm going to just draw back up, and I'm going to send it to you. Uh, we're going to play Recover Order, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Those are handy. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, so the Recover, that's activating me. Correct. Um, the deck, the try to recover every broken unit, correct? That's right, yep. Okay, and any suppression markers are automatically removed. They go first, correct. Starting at the top, I guess. So rolling against a seven. Plus two for the cover. You're good there. Away goes the smoke. Yeah. Next line unit. <clears throat> Covers. And rolling against a twelve, I guess, there for Ray. White phosphorus. Okay. I guess if I was one hex closer down at the bottom, that would be more that useful. That would be deadly. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll throw. Okay. Yep, so we'll just throw that down there. Looks like Ray actually passed his check, so he's rallied. And down at the bottom there, starting with uh, white and the line unit. Ooh, 11 against 10, I believe, right? With the building. Uh, they get the building plus white. Uh, so oh. they're 8, yep. 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so they're suppressed. Okay. Um, play a fire order. Activating Ray, and he's going to activate that machine gun group down there. We'll fire at them. Cower. So you're, I think you're good, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so 13 total, and we are, we're a 9 there, and we pass. We're going to activate Sergeant White down here, along with his group. Um, so targeting the same hex again. So using that line squad in front as the base, six, seven. Um, actually, they're in wire, so they, they can fire separately, but it, they can't fire group, because he's in wire. Yeah, but you can take two shots. So it looks like you got a, a, a six shot from here, and then this one is five. Yeah, let's start with the uh, six there, line squad at the bottom. Another one. Ow. That could be useful. <laughs> Whom would you like to break? I'll break Pfeiffer there. Do you want to adjust his status? Sure. Um, Sixteen. We're in the building there. We're a nine plus. They're good. Yeah, and then I guess I can fire... That one will be a 5 out of here. To there, yep. Alright, so we got... Ooh, gee. So just a 9, so I'm just pulling a card on that trigger check. And we're good. That's 3. What's my limit? 4? Uh, you are 4 and I'm 3. I will leave it at that. I'm just happy I got a recover card. Yeah, well, I'm very happy that uh, I have a use for my recover card now, so I will play that. Um, I will start with getting rid of my suppression. And we'll start with Pfeiffer up here. Pfeiffer is a... It looks like a net 2, so he's an 11. And he rallies. And down here we have Foxholes. They're a 10. And they rally. Anybody else? Nope. Next order, I'm going to play a move order. I'm going to have this weapon team here activate. And they're going to go one to there. And I don't think anything can see it. And they'll go, and then one, two, three to go back up the hill with the brush. And that's it for them. And I'll draw back up. Back to you. We'll play Recover. Starting at the top there, that line unit. Nine. And then line unit down at the bottom. Sniper. He 
will also recover. Six was the result. Play a move order. And activate White's group down here. This line squad into the building. That'll be two, I believe. Oh, well, it's everything because they're coming out of the wire. Ah, uh, okay. But yeah, they can get there. Um, okay, no reaction from me. We left some sausages burning on the fire there in that building. <laughs> squad just below white there. One, two. No reaction? No reaction. You're good. So that is a four point swing for the US. If you want to give yourself four victory points. White is going to make one, two, three. And play an assault fire action. Now, if I'm understanding this correctly, can I fire with a unit that's already started to move? Yes. Mm -hmm. Any point in the move. All right. So that'll be. Uh, in this case here, both of these units could fire group together because they're both activated to move and they both have line of sight on that one. And we'll throw down a hand grenades here. That's what they're for! <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Target, I should say, will be nine, ten. Should be the base, I believe. Uh huh, that's right. Oh! Oh no! It's not very. The uh, very... hand grenades did not go off. Right. No. <laughs> uh, and I am a net nine there, so. Thank you. How would you like to react to that? There we go. Uh, let's. Uh, you can send it, it's okay. fine. Alright, so doing a time advance. And reshuffling my deck. Uh, removing a smoke. And taking a victory point. P and dig ins. Uh, I'm the inactive player, so let's see. I will play a dig in. And we'll put some foxholes there. And uh, that's all the dig ins I've got, if you'd like to play any. Uh, nope. Okay. So we're, uh, yep, yeah, we're past. I will go ahead and draw up. That's the end of your deck. Um, so basically, I just need to hit the time. That's right. Time event, right? Mm hmm. And, uh, here, I'll take another point. And we should be good. Alright, I'm gonna discard two and draw back up to you. I'll discard. Okay, I will play on that. I'll play Hidden Unit. I'm going to make a roll on the German support table. Let me grab that. Okay, so we are in 1940. Here's my roll. A six. So I can get Sergeant Pfeiffer, who I believe may be in play. I can get a weapon team with a heavy machine gun. That would be handy. Or a rifle squad. And it's not a reinforcement, so I can't get a radio, sadly. So I will get a weapon team with a heavy machine gun. Team. Put that there for a second. And the heavy machine gun. Apparently there's no shortage of heavy machine guns. So I'm going to put that, it's got to be in a setup hex with no units. Okay, I'm going to put it here. And say that's next order. Okay, so that was on your discard. I'm going to discard myself, and I'll draw back up. And it's to you. Play a fire order. Activating White's group down here at the bottom again. And targeting the rifle squad there. Should be eight, correct? Let's see. Uh, and White can actually participate as well, so six, seven, eight, nine. Nine total. 10, 14. 19. Oh! 
my poor weapon team. Okay. So we are a, a net nine there ourselves. Let's see if we can avoid breaking. No, we break. And that's it. All right, let's let's do a fire. This heavy machine gun. I will shoot it white. Uh, so it's going to be eight, nine with the weapon team included. I will do boar sighting, make it 11. Uh, so 11 plus 16. Starting with my line squad. Twelve, forty, twenty. Good. And what is that? A sniper event? Uh, no, that's time. So if you want to keep it, we'll advance the time. Uh, yeah, go ahead and send it. That's fine. I'll. Okay. That... And take a point. Don't think there's any smoke. Uh. And no, no diggings for me either. Okay. So that was uh, just the line, right? That was the first one. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh, no. oh wow. Okay. Oh man, this game. I'll pass you the. Uh, okay. Let's hope it's as good. Yeah, oh, it's nineteen. That's that's plenty. Well, then I think I'm done with that. Just draw back up, and I'm going to send it back to you. Play a move board. We're going to activate white down here again. Play an assault fire. Yep, so we'll fire with... Uh, um, now, it's only for units with boxed firepower, though, so I guess can the leader... Uh, he can create a fire group, you just can't contribute his firepower. Yeah, he can form, right, because they're both activated. So you're looking at six, seven, eight. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's target the uh, same group again. Oof. Brutal. Okay. Uh, so we're in seven, eight, nine there. Come on, big money, big money. Hey, 18. So they suppress. Gonna move the line squad into. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. He's going into the wire. Uh, yeah, let's let's go with that. God bless him. Into the wire, boys. Try to get out of out of range here. Some people, I guess. Um. That's all I got. Back to you. Okay. I'm gonna do a fire order myself, and we'll activate Lauerbach up here. He likes this anti-aircraft gun, so he's going to shoot here, and it's going to spray into there. So we got seven, eight, nine for downhill. Nothing to add. Nine plus. I got a 19. With a sniper. Sniper is no help. Okay, starting with the line unit in the wire. So he's going to be at five. Should just be five, right? It looks like just five, yeah. Uh, wire. Yeah, it's wire. Battle Harden. He becomes veteran. Okay. So we need to do the line squad down there with Sergeant White. My actual roll there, so five and seven. Well, so they're going to break. Newly veteran line unit. Seven, eight, nine. Plus five. Fourteen. So they're going to break. White should be ten. Uh, yep. Got it. Ah. 
Okay. All right. Um, next order. It's not another fire order. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually going to advance this hurt squad here. They're going to advance in to join the team there in the building. And get them out of harm's way for the moment. Next order. And drawing back up. Player route. Yeah, I'll start with the, uh, I guess with the rifle squad there. Shell shock. Break the unit closest to a random hex. Ooh. Ouch. Like that. All right. The unit closest is going to be your rifle squad. There we go. And down to the weapons team there. Nine. So they should be okay. Uh, yeah, he's a he's a ten with that brush, so yeah, he's okay. And that's all I got. I'll do a fire order, and I'll activate. Yep, we'll do Lauerbach again. Do both of those. So it's nine. Marksmanship. Make it ten eleven. And because I'm superstitious, we'll do sustain fire. Thirteen. Thirteen no doubles. Come on, double uh, no doubles. Okay. Twenty. Should pretty much do a bit. Uh starting with the line unit at the bottom there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're done. Okay, we'll take two. And the line squad with white. Nine, ten, eleven. So, get the two for that. Okay, white. Oh, that might have paid off, huh? 10, 11, 12, and 11. There you go. He lives. He lives. <laughs> all right. Uh, that is all for that. So, drawing back up. Cover. White down here. Covers. Player route. Got three broken units now. I'll start with rolling against the rifle squad at the top. Okay. Oh, eleven. There you go. Might have done. Let's see. Yeah. So they're uh, seven, eight, nine. So they're going to go back two. So I will put them there. Lock down. Nine. And uh, Five, right? uh, six, seven, eight. So they go back one. Um, hmm. That's no bueno. I guess I'll stay off that tarmac. Last unit. Looks like they make it. Yep. Move. Raise group up here. One. Okay. We'll uh, we'll activate the fire. And it'll be Larbach, and I'll do this one just just in case, because uh, he's got line of sight now. So we got uh, seven, eight, nine, ten with this one. And it's a uh, minus five into the smoke there, so it's a net five plus 
8 is 13. Six. Eight. Uh, he is a five on that tarmac, right? Yes. But he's uh, he's moving, so he'll actually break. Yeah. That squad down here. One, two. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can't spray fire this one, but I can shoot there. So um, it'll be nine down the hill, and I'll do crossfire. Made eleven plus sixteen. Got it. Twelve and two for fourteen. You'll break. <laughs> Don't be a hero, you machine gunners. Three, four. There you go. Okay. That's all I got. Again. One, one, two. Okay. Um, yeah, we can see that. So it's a uh, nine there, plus nineteen. Sniper. Sniper does not help. Close. Uh. I'm broken. That said, we'll drop one here. Try to. Oh, great. <laughs> 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 they send you bit. all this white phosphorus, and it's just not. <laughs> Five saved me, though. That saved me. Telling you, he's war profiteering. Probably shouldn't have moved there, but all right. And uh, so that that was that. He was at six, seven, eight, seven, four, fifteen. Okay, that was it for that. Rob. Okay, I will play a route. Play it on you, and we'll start up here with these guys. So they're a seven on that tarmac. They One of my few events. Ooh, interrogation. As always, you tell us what you know. Wow, if only you had a radio. I think I can guess which one is. Um, yes, it will be the recover. Now, I've completely forgotten everything that you got, so don't worry. <laughs> but that was an important one. Uh, okay, so they don't go anywhere, but they did suppress. All right, we'll do this one now. They're a 10 in the woods. They're okay. And this one is a, I think, uh, a net one, so he's a 9 in the woods there. Actually... Okay. I don't know if he's actually in the woods, right? But, he is in the woods, but there's a there's a road there, so it's two two reduced by one. Um, so he's okay. But I'm getting another event. Air support. Let's see. Will it be helpful? Let's find out. Uh, no, no, it is not helpful. All right, he did miss, and that is all of your broken units. So next order. I will draw back up. And it's to you. <laughs> that recover card would have been real handy down there. Yeah, we will just discard. We don't have a fire card again. I do have a fire card. Um, question is, what's the best Please. Yeah, I think I'll just activate Lauerbach and the other guy. And Christians, do I do that one? Yeah, we'll shoot. We'll shoot the the lame duck there. So we got nine, ten, minus five is five. Five plus. 
Alright, well, you have earned a reprieve, for that is now broken. And uh, it's a seven. Okay. Man, we're good. Good to go on that one. And I'm just done. Back to you. Play recover. Starting with the line unit at the top. Recovers. Next one down. Stalwart should, Americans. Should be recovery also, right? It is, yeah. Barely. Play a route. <laughs> the rifle squad furthest up there. The light machine gun. Yep. Alright, uh, he uh, suppresses. And your suppressed rifle squad. Five, you should be okay. And the weapons. Shell holes, foxholes, and random hacks. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and that eight, let's see, what is it? The eight will eliminate this heavy machine gun up here. Uh, go ahead and take that out of there. And uh, shell holes will go into the building. Win some, lose some. And I believe your uh, your weapons team held there. They did not withdraw. Right. So. They did not go anywhere. Yep. Play a move order. With smoke grenades. Ray's group up here, actually. Part of Ray's group, what's, what's within range here. Go ahead and put that smoke out. Ah. <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> Fire that line worker at the factory, man. Yeah, it's, it's unreal. Uh, all right, well, it is what it is. One, two. Okay, go. I'll stop you there. Uh, I will do an ambush. I mean, a uh, what do you call it? We'll do a op fire, and we'll just activate this heavy machine gun now, since that's the only one working. Range to there. Uh, I think I'm hitting that fence. I am not hitting that fence. Okay. So we'll do um, eight. Throw in some crossfire, make it ten. Ten plus. <laughs> Event. Interdiction. Okay. Uh, less than one cover. Uh, it will be these guys up here. And uh, 17 to you. 6, 15, 16, 17 with the woods, right? Uh, be... Yes, they are moving, so oh, tie, ties on moving will break. We're going to send Ray down here. Okay. The shot. Uh, 8 plus 17 again. Nine, eight, four, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen with the woods. Okay, and also that was for which one? Ray or the line? Just for Ray. Okay, so Ray's good. Now you gotta do for the line. Yep. He drew the fire into them. But they get his benefit now, and rightly so. Twenty more for twenty-two. Still alive. Ray will continue. Two, three. Okay, let me see if 
if I can see. Oh, go back one. Let me see if I can see that. Uh, I can. Okay, so we'll take another eight shot plus. Uh, actually, going through the wood, the uh, smoke here. So it's a seven plus. Just a twelve. <laughs> You add your victory point already there. I will add it now. There we go. I guess we should remove the smoke. It's up to you, whichever one you like. <laughs> um, yeah. And any dig ins if you like? Nope. Okay, none for me. Okay, and then you'll move two more into the building here, and that's it. Okay, let me see if I can see that. Uh, I can see that with a, a minus one, so we'll take another seven shot plus. Yeah, just an 11 this time. Ah. So nothing. So. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> and then you guys... These guys can still move if they want. If they want. Bring the gauntlet here. Um, yeah, we'll go one, two. Okay. Uh, so that's a seven shot into there. No time. Okay. So it's going to be 19. Let me do the time advance. Uh, time advance. Reshuffle my deck. And take a point. Remove a smoke, get rid of uh, this one up here. And any dig ins? I don't have any dig ins. You don't have any. Uh, so it is a 19 to you. And we got 6 and 5, 4, 11. Broken. They're done. Back to you. I, I will say, in my observation in this game, it's been a long time since I've seen so many high-power machine gun shots on both sides. Both you and I have pulled at least a 9 or a 10 in every machine gun shot for just about. Uh, it's impressive. Usually it's like, oh, it breaks again. Yay. Uh, I'm going to do a move order. Pfeiffer's going to go one to there. Anything? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a shot, I guess. Okay. Okay. Got the hindrance there. Five. Um, this is, of course, the squad down there firing through the smoke. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> My plan worked exactly as well. <laughs> that won't be yeah, so do that, and then we'll pull for sudden death. Uh, do a time advance yeah, first, do, or do the time advance first. Yep, and reshuffle your deck. And uh, yeah, the first thing you'll pull is anything less than twelve, and the game will end. It's a draw. Yep. And there, there you it go. is. All right. Uh, yes, the the FIFA plan that gambit <laughs> never fails. No, um, this one's. Really tough, it seems like for the Americans, and I'm I'm really surprised. And I can say now because you and I are the uh, the last game of the month to be completed, having seen the data for for it. it I'm a, amazed at how close it is between the Americans and the Germans. I thought for sure with those two heavy machine guns that if the Germans and you know, they're in the German setup area, so I just figured they would be sweeping the field with that spray fire over and over again. It was going to be like. 40 matches to 10 in favor of the Germans. But no, it's actually very, very close. So there is something, if the Americans can get a hold of this one up here, they can give it right back to the Germans. But uh, yeah, I I unfortunately had you pinned at that tree line early and often. Yeah, thanks for, uh, you know, walking me through here. I'm obviously still pretty, pretty new here. But yeah, strategically, it's been tough for me to try to figure out exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't know if that's the experience of everybody initially. But. It, it is, and it, to, don't don't feel bad. I've been playing this almost twenty years, and I'm still my biggest shortcomings are setup because I'm like this looks good, and then everyone just says Patrick, that's the stupidest setup ever. And I'm like, oh yeah, it is stupid. So uh, for me, it's setup is my Achilles heel, and always forgetting that you can exit guys. I mean, that is points off the map. Now it's hard because you got to run the gauntlet, but too often I forget, oh, you know, I've got these guys in a perfect position. I can do that. But for this one, it's it's really tough because you don't know whether the Americans should just be... I thought for sure when you had white down here that you were going to be very aggressive and try to advance in and kill them in, in melee. So I was always holding an ambush card in my hand. And then when I realized... Right that you weren't going to do that, I thought, okay, I can use that for a fire card somewhere else. But, uh, I mean, every situation's different. This one's a really interesting scenario, but I don't know how to, to judge it yet because of these two big machine gun emplacements. But they're open to everybody, so it's the firstest with the mostest in that case. But Yeah, maybe it's trading up at the, the top end of the map there. Then been smarter i i don't know but i think you you played it right where you kind of start in the middle and suss it out and then try to go for a flank if you can around here but i was packing this one up with units because i figured if you're going to come down that way i'm definitely going to make it harder <laughs> but uh yeah but i thought you played great this one is tough for the americans so it was certainly and the time went very very fast i mean geez we had five time advances in yeah, the second half. Minutes. Yeah. But, um, well, I really appreciate the game, sir. Congratulations for sticking it out because uh, I know I would have been like, ah, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> so, what to play with you again here sometime. I so. look forward to it too. And uh, you have a great one, man. Hey, you too. Thank All you. Right. Hey, take care. Bye. And there we have it. We have another tale from the Combat Commander Ladder. And we thank all of you for joining us here tonight And what turned out to be quite a bloody affair for the Americans. The Germans did hold the field. They managed to maintain the RAF airfield. And the Americans will have to try again another day. But if you are out there watching this and you've enjoyed it, we would certainly love to have you join us on the Combat Commander Ladder. The link is right there below in the description of the video. So follow that. All the information is there listed on BoardGameGeek, and basically all you have to do is send me an email, and you can be playing as soon as next month. We will give you one opponent every single month, and we have a Discord server where you can join in. It's a wonderful community. We've got about 100 players now, so there's always Combat Commander to be played. If you're brand new, or as Dan was saying, he's kind of green, that's all right. Everyone was a first-timer at some point, so come on in. We'd love to have you, and we have people that will show you the ropes and give you all the tips that you would not like to get. So until next time, friends, have a good one, and we'll see you soon.